That is our top story this morning. The family of one of the injured officers sharing how fortunate he is to be alive. Mara Sirianni live outside GBI headquarters with an update on how he's doing, Mara. Well, we are certainly wishing these three officers a very speedy recovery. It's been more than 24 hours now since that shootout. And here at the GBI, we're learning more about the two Alabama cousins accused in all of it. So in a late night update from the GBI, they say 22 year old Aaron Shelton is facing five counts of aggravated assault and three counts of aggravated battery. His cousin Pierre, they say, was shot and killed. Now the three officers wounded are Carroll County Deputy Jay Repetto, Carrollton Police Sergeant Rob Holloway and Villarica Police Officer Chase Gordy. Sergeant Holloway is a veteran officer who was flown to Grady after the suspect shot him, causing him to crash his cruiser. Deputy Repetto was hit in the arm. We're told he was treated and released, and we spoke with Officer Gordy's girlfriend. He's the youngest of the three. She says he He's still in the hospital and thankfully he's in good spirits. He just got sworn in in September, so not even a year. He hasn't been a police officer, but loves his job. Um, was a great student, does everything he does. He still says he's ready to get back out there. And the GBI says this is the 20th officer involved shooting they've been asked to handle so far this year. Mara, thank you. So let's take a moment now to recap how this all went down. It began around 3.30 yesterday morning. Georgia State Patrol started to chase a vehicle on I-20 in Bremen, which eventually moved into Carroll County, that chase. We're told a trooper was checking for speeders and clocked a Nissan Sentra driving 111 miles per hour. And while the car did stop at first, then the trooper had to execute a pit maneuver started to walk up and then the driver took off. Police say the passenger at one point started firing a rifle from the car. After other agencies got involved, the chase continued. That's when another officer was shot, struck a utility pole. The car eventually crashed near Ithaca Elementary School and then there was more gunfire. That's when two more officers were shot. One of the suspects was killed, the other arrested. Now things are in the very early stages of the investigation. You can trust 11 Alive to keep you up to date on any new details on the officer's conditions on 11alive.com. Again, two still in the hospital. Let's turn back to not.